Welcome to our tutorial on the reorder command. I have a part here that's hollow inside. As you see, the shell was not applied to the cylindrical part on top. Let's highlight the feature. Select Edit, Pad 2.Object, and select Reorder. Under the Feature Reorder drop down menu, we have three choices After, Before, and Inside. Let's leave it at After. Now click on any available feature before the shell. Obviously, we can't click on Sketch 1 or the plane, but we can click on Edge Fillet 2. The Edge Fillet name populates the value field. Let's click OK. Now Edge Fillet 2 is defined as an in-work object. In order to go all the way down here, I can right-click, select Define in-work object, or I can click on Part Body and select Define in-work object. Now we see the entire part, and the shell feature applies to this cylindrical part too. Now, for example, I want to apply an edge fillet right here. I want this feature to be incorporated into the shell function. We'd right click on Pad 2, select Define in Work Object. We don't have the shell now. What I'll do next is edit the edge fillet. Click this edge. Let's enter a value of 2 millimeters. Tab and Preview. The edge fillet reappears after Pad 2. Now, if I go to Shell 1, right click and define in Work Object, we see the creation of the shell takes into consideration the feature Edge Fillet 3. And this concludes our tutorial on the reorder command.